Hello and welcome back to the Air Hauler 2 tutorial series. Today is episode number three and we'll be completing our very first cargo flight and earning a bit of money for our company. Now this, uh, this particular series is being completed on the X-Plane 11 version of Air Hauler 2, uh, but it's totally applicable to both FSX and P3D. All the versions are pretty much identical, so it uh, will be relevant for the people who have those versions. Now before I get into it, uh, you remember last episode I talked about the fact that um, I had extra type ratings in there that I hadn't done for this company. We had a Beechcraft Baron 58 type rating and a Piper Navajo type rating. Now I'd, I'd completed those on other companies that I've, I've opened in this program. Now a big shout out to Lester Lives who put in the comments from the last video to say no that's definitely not a bug, it's a feature. Uh, once you've completed a type rating once in the, uh, in the program, it doesn't matter which company it's for, that will then transfer to all your other companies. So that's quite good because it means you only have to continually keep doing those flights every time you create a new company. So a big shout out there. Thank you very much Lester Lives for that uh, information. So let's get into my cargo jobs, which is uh, accepted jobs is the little uh, button up the top there. And we'll see that we're presented with a map showing the route for uh, the cargo job that we have selected. So we've got one selected in here from NZWN to NZCH. So that's Wellington to Christchurch here in New Zealand. Uh, it's 164 nautical miles and we're taking some courier documents. Now they weigh 933 pounds, and if you remember from last episode, that's actually more than our aircraft can actually carry. But it's only more than what our fully fueled up aircraft can carry. And since it's a, a shorter sort of flight, it means we can offload some fuel, and that frees up some space for additional cargo. So hopefully that makes sense. So once you've got, uh, you've got you've selected your job, all you need to do is down the bottom there, quite straightforward, you press fly now. Uh, it then asks you to select an aircraft that you currently have a type rating in. So you remember when we tried to do this last time, we didn't have a type rating, so no aircraft showed in this selection screen. So that's what we had to do first. We got our type rating, and now we can go OK and select that aircraft, and you'll be pre presented with the cargo loading screen. And so here we go here, uh, as you can see, uh, we've got the cargo sitting in our storage uh, sort of facility on our base, 933 pounds, and it's uh, ready to load. And you could just, if you had capacity in your aircraft right now, you could just press load and away you go. But we're going to have to do just a little bit of messing around here by offloading fuel down below, just to make sure that our aircraft is, uh, you know, in the right weight uh, in the white right weight range sorry we'll get that out now as we can see here this is a really good pointer right here available capacity so basically with its current configuration we can put 772 pounds of uh, cargo in there so uh, we've got 933 so we've got too much now what we could do is we could part load it and then do two trips but no one likes doing two trips so we'll need to offload some fuel so what we can do is down the bottom here just select how much we would like to offload uh, so we just go ahead and select uh, hold on uh, sorry offload fuel is the button we need to push first we'll get it right we press offload fuel and then uh, we need how much did we need 772 and 933 so we need approximately 151 it's not very approximate that's accurate but uh, let's go uh, let's go 200 just to be safe offload fuel fuel offloaded and there you go we've got 973 pounds available capacity now and so that's more than enough to load up our aircraft there we go courier documents are now sitting in our cargo bay now one thing you do need to check is obviously your estimated range because uh, the last thing you want to do obviously is offload too much fuel and you can't reach a destination because running out of fuel is not good when you fly planes. Who would have thought? So that's the couple of things to check. So just to recap, number one, check your available capacity, compare it to how much cargo you've got to load. If your available capacity is more than your cargo to load, then you're fine. If it's less, you'll need to offload some fuel by just clicking on the offload fuel button down below. And then the final thing to check is just to make sure that with the, you know, that the estimated range 
is enough to get your flight, uh, get you to your destination, I should say. So nice and easy right there. So let's go ahead and press OK. And now we're presented with our flight planning screen. And what it will do is it basically sets up a direct flight from the destination, uh, sorry, from your departure to your destination. But you actually can go in and um, adjust all these, uh, you can go in and adjust all the information and, um, and add, um, you can add waypoints in, you can add uh, proper flight planning in there, and you can actually upload it into the GPS on your aircraft. We're just gonna do a direct flight today. Now, in New Zealand, uh, any southbound flights go on a even altitude. Any northbound uh, flights are odd, and it's easy to remember because it's N-O-S-E, north, odd, south, even, so that's nose, really easy. Uh, but so south, uh, let's, we wanna go a little bit higher than that let's go 14,000 feet uh, so that will be just now actually we're going to go we're going to go 8,000 feet it's not very efficient but it gives us a nice view of these uh, southern alps as we come uh, flying down the down the um, down the coast there but as you can see you've got little boxes here that you can tick and you can drag your line uh, how do you add them in oh you can add them in by uh, oh I right clicked on it did you see uh, I messed that up. Okay, I fixed up my mess there. Sorry, that was a bit messy. You just right click on the waypoint and it will add it to your flight plan. Uh, and you can just clear your route and go direct to NZCH and it will create that direct route. So there we go there. Uh, it's nice and easy uh, to do some flight planning that way if you want to do it. Uh, the other thing to be aware of is uh, where you start so you can either start at the last position that this aircraft we basically where you shut down your aircraft or select a gate and you can go ahead and choose which one. So uh, let's just, I mean, it's not very realistic, but let's just start at gate number one, tie down. And for jets, that's fine. And there we go. So we go accept route and fly. And you'll recognize this little pop-up here exactly the same as our, as our type rating um, prompt. So I'll go ahead and launch X-Plane and I'll meet you in there once we're ready to fly. Okay, everybody, here we are. We're in the aircraft. Uh, our GPS is all set up to go if that's uh, what you want to use. And uh, the aircraft is all started up and ready to transport these courier documents down to Christchurch. Now, if we just uh, alt-tab uh, into our air hauler program, uh, you'll see here that it gives you the in-flight message log. Welcome to your air hauler flight, start up and taxi. So you'll continue to get those, uh, those little pop-ups as you uh, go through your flight. Uh, and uh, it's a pretty straightforward sort of situation, similar to the uh, similar to the type rating, except you know where you're going this time, you know what you need to do, you need to fly this down to Christchurch. So I'll go ahead and get this flight completed, and then we can do a, uh, a bit of a review at the end. So we'll catch you very soon. Okay, everybody, we're back uh, after our flight, and here we are on the post-flight screen. What we need to do is go into our cargo fuel loading and unloading button right here, and we need to now unload everything that's in there, our courier documents, and we have the job completed. There we go. Trucker, complete a cargo job. That's the achievement that we have got, and we can go OK, and now we can finish our flight monitoring, and once again, it gives you that rundown a bit of a summary of your flight. So if you're into that, you can have a good look through that. And then you simply go, OK, finish flight monitoring. And congratulations, you've completed your very first cargo flight in Air Hauler 2. So let's just take a quick look around the site on uh, some components that get affected by completing jobs. If we go to our company information and go to finance, and we'll go more in depth on this in the future, um, you can see that our income of $12,689 uh, that has uh, that's the flight that we just completed so we've uh, created some income which is all good uh, if we look on our ledger too we can see that our cargo job income is uh, right here twelve thousand six hundred eighty nine dollars uh, if we go into our personal info and go to flight log you can see right here it's added that flight in NZWN to NZCH uh, it's given you the landing description of smooth 
Uh, duration was 54 minutes. It's got a little, quite a bit of information right here that you can uh, take a look at if you want to take a look at your stats. Airport visited. Uh, it should actually have NZCH up on here, but I assume when we do our next flight that that will pop up. Uh, the other thing that has been affected is your company reputation. So if we go to our reputation log, we can see that our cargo rep has uh, increased to uh, 61. It was at 60, and it's gone up to 61 for completing uh, that flight. If we go to our reputation graph, uh, you can see it's very, uh, you can't see it very clearly, but the cargo rep is this pink line and it's slightly increased on the others so it's increased our overall reputation to 60.33 and for cargo because that's the flight that we flew it is 61. So there we go ladies and gentlemen that's a, just a simple overview there of how you go ahead and complete your first cargo flight. Uh, when we come back next episode we'll have a think about what I'm going to do but I'll probably show you through the humanitarian missions, uh, available missions and also ad hoc flights. Those are the other sort of single player flights that you can get done. So perhaps we'll cover that off in our next episode. But uh, until then, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.